Hey everybody, the devourer below. You teased me there. I did. After a frantic nighttime search throughout Arkham, you have tracked down and questioned uh, several members of the cult. Your findings are disturbing. They claim to worship a being known as Umordoth, a monstrous entity from another realm. You made that word up. You're able to confirm much of Lita's story. The cult is agitated over the destruction of a ghoul lair. However, a surprising detail also turns up. The one who invaded the lair and set this night's events mo into motion was none other than Lita Chandler herself. You're oh. not sure why this important detail was omitted from Lita's story. Did she tell you only as much was necessary to draw you into her conflict? But in other light, she seems to be fighting to protect the city of Arkham from a terrible menace. The final piece of the puzzle was found in a written in a journal possessed by one of the cultists. Um, it describes a dark ritual to, to be performed deep within the woods south of Arkham this very night. According to the journal, the ritual's completion will open a gate and bring forth the cult's dark master into the world. If the cult is not stopped, Lita warns, there is a possibility that Umordoth's vengeance will consume all in its path. Frightened but determined to stop the ritual, you head into the woods. Uh, gather the cards, choose the make the map. Yes. If I hadn't burned down my house, would this be the exact same opening? Yes. Okay. So the only difference is Lita's not in your deck. Yeah. And you don't have the trauma. And the house thing would have been in there. That's fair. Check the names of the number of cultists got away. If there are exactly one or two names, place one Doom on Agenda 1A. Uh, add a squid token to the chaos bag for the remainder of the thing. Check your campaign if it is past midnight. It is not, so we don't have to discard two random cards from our Ooh, hand. Gross. Yeah. Um, let's go. All right, let's do this. I have a pretty... Uh, so, obviously, I have keen eye here. It's pretty good, so I can pay two resources oh. to get plus one of a stat for the end, until the end of the phase. Excellent, excellent. Uh, we're going to do three... And then spend seven, and we've been here before. Um, I'm going to spend three to just straight up bring out shriveling. Nice. Get a get that out right away. Um, and I'm also are, are clues helpful always? Uh, all, uh, well, right now we need six clues okay. and four doom, but we have to go out into the woods and separate. So get ready for that. I'm just gonna straight up. Oh, there's no clues on our location. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's you only need clues for the location. On. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. No worries. Then yeah, I, and that's gonna be my. You have two actions left. First move. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to go into the woods? All of these are connected to um, this. I'm also I'm gonna spend the last of this to bring my flashlight immediately out. Nice. That's gonna be really good for you here. Yeah. I'm just trying to do all of this as I can. Why do I have this? That's for me. Um, and then I'm gonna move as far away from you as possible. Just kidding. I'm um, ooh, rough. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, this one's good for me, though. This okay. location is investigating you using fist instead of the indicated skill. Crap. <laughs> so, I mean, but all these are connected. So, th this is connected to each wooded path. And that's connected to this? Uh, no, nope. these ones aren't. So, I have to go back and then... Yeah, the main path there. is connected to each other woods location. Okay. So, all these well, are connected. That's fine. Yeah. That's my turn, I think. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, cards and resources. Yes. Pow, pow. That's a good card. No, yeah. No, not yet. Yeah. Go. Now go. Oh, it's here! Reveal five chaos tokens. For each skull or, or fuck you chit, you take one damage and one But horror. I've been taking so many skulls. I know. So it's you draw all, you draw five lovely. one at a time. And they don't go back in there. So you just draw one. Two. Three, four, five. You're good. Whoo! Also, yeah, Gallus, I, I agree. I like the first uh, season a lot. Here you of go. The original. Thank you. That was not that bad. Uh, Acolyte. Oh, he goes to an empty location. I got this ravenous ghoul. Okay, not bad. Okay, that was not. A we want to kill that opening. acolyte, though. That's fine. You so, can deal with that easy. Sure. You're stronger than me. Um, let's deal him one damage. Let's attack him four, five, six to three. Minus three. If there's a monster at your location, which there is, I'll take one damage. You also take one damage, B cough. You're, you're not just a tap to deal one damage. That would be incredible. That would be fucking insanely good. That was action two. Action one was attack. Action two is we're going to move into here. This is this place is investigated using feet, so we're both really bad at it. Uh, this guy will engage me. 
we'll gain a resource. And then for my final action, we'll cut them up at six to three. This is stressful. Uh, he's dead. Yeah. Okay, not bad. We're doing okay. That's me. All right, me turn. You turn. One, two. Nice. Test uh, uh, brain power. Uh, after you enter this location, test yeah. brain power. If you fail, take Four, one damage right? and one horror. Yes. All right. Got to just go straight. Yeah, take one damage, one horror. Not bad. You're a tough boy. Tough boy. And you have one action left. I do. And I can investigate like a normal human being? Yep. I'm it's just four, four to three. three. You could use your... Um, oh, here. This one's magic. Oh, wait. Hmm? Magic. Oh, magic. Um, you can spend your flashlight to make yeah. it three to two. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Jesus Christ, Nathan. Two, Nathan. Two. It's two. Uh, cards and resources. Nice. This ticks up. Evil card for you. Thank you. Dissonant voices. Hmm. Oh, no, that's for you. It's in your oh, threat area. Me. That's your threat area. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you just can't play assets or events this next turn. That's annoying. Okay. Well, mine's pretty simple. We'll move up here. I can't play them, but I can use ones that Correct. are down? Correct, yes. I'm actually going to shortcut into this guy. Hello, friend. We're going to resource. Um, and I think I'm going to chop you like normal. Six to three. He's dead. So that was action two. Action three, we'll move in here. Action four, we'll investigate four to two. Because we actually can do this. Minus X. The number of monster enemies in play. Zero. Boom. I'm helping. I'm so proud. That's my boy. So you actually could investigate here pretty Again. good because you can use this to make it zero mm -hmm. and then you pretty much get them. Mm -hmm. The only downside is then you have to do this test again when you enter That's the fine. unhallowed ground. Fine. So one second, are these connected? Yes, mm -hmm. these are connected. Sweet, one. Okay. Were these connected? No, they weren't. Okay, so... So if you use your flashlight, yep. it makes the shroud zero, which means the lowest your score can go is zero because it doesn't go into the negatives. Yeah. Which means as long as you don't draw the dark red shit, you'll pass. So just don't do that. He did it. He drew a minus two. So you gain a clip. And you have one more action. Is it worth it to use my flashlight again? I think so because yeah. it's a sure clue. Unless you go dark red. But he just won't do that. That's looking good. Grab it. So we need two more clues. Not bad. Three more clues. Not bad. There might be some here. Probably. And a turn, draw cards and gain resources. And this ticks over. And this is gone. Shuffle the encounter discard pile. So throughout the woods, a shrieking cry echoes. From somewhere deeper in the forest, a score of hideous voices answer the call inhumane as the bane of hounds and yet are sorry, inhuman as the bane of hounds, and yet articulate repeating a single name, Udmorda. Udmorda. Shuffle these together and then discard cards from the top until a monster enemy is discarded. Spawn that enemy at the main path, then place one doom on that enemy. Otherwise known as someone for me to kill. We lost uh, some tough cards in there, though, so that's really good for us. Nice. All right, uh, five doom. Each enemy gets plus one fight and plus one evade. Udmor Doth, Udmor Doth, the chanting builds in the intensity, echoing into the cold air of the night. Can we win? Let's find out. Evil card for you. Thank you. Wizard of the Order. Swans on an empty space. All right, it's going to go here. Hello, friendo. 
And in the mental space, he gains a doom. Um, mind if I go first? Yeah, go for okay, it. Okay, so I'm going to move here. They're, They're connected. connected. They are. So do the test. I will. Why is my brain not working? The test is for brain power, right? Yep. No. That's a tough one. I wouldn't time warp that if I were you. Yeah, that's fair. One and one isn't too bad. There's much bigger stuff to come hiding over here in the ritual site. Don't say that. Okay. Uh, so now I'm going to not use for. I'm going to. Was that my whole turn? No, no. I what just. I'm trying I, to do. I'm thinking of what might happen. Three, four. I'm taking a resources one turn. Yep. I'm going to use my resources as another yep. turn. For nice. Alyssa. Nice. All right. Um, we got a young deep one. So we're going to attack him. <laughs> We have three, so he has four. I have four, five, six. I'll spend two resources to bump myself. Oh, I also gained one for him engaging me. To up to, I'm up to five, I'm up to seven to four. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's cool, it's cool, cool, cool. Uh, there are two monsters in play. One, two. So he'll take. Three monsters in play. Oh, he's order. a humanoid. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, he's human. Uh, B-Cop will finish him off. Bake him away, toys. Um, action two, we'll move in here. Yep. Uh, no, I think we'll... Oh, wait. Yeah, no, grabbing this clue is probably better. No, no I think we can't fuck around with this Doom. We can't, yeah, we can't rid fucks of that, so, We can't fucks around. Uh, we'll get a resource. Uh, so we'll attack. Because you know what I'm going to do next turn, so... Five, six, seven to three. Not bad, not bad, not bad. He's nice. Dead. He's toast. Um, that's the turn. Cards and resources. Sounds Gucci. That's a good card. Um, I should take a resource and a card. Yep. And a card. <gasps> Is it a trumpet? Do, 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 no, do, no, it's do, not. Do, 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 do. Uh, frozen in fear. Put frozen in fear to play in your threat area. The first time you perform one of the following actions: move, fight, or evade. Each each round, it costs an additional one action. At the end of your turn, test three knowledge to dis. If I succeed, I get rid of it. That's not terrible. No, it just slows you down. Do you by chance have a, a ward of protection in your hand? Warder. Ward of protection. No, I don't. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to do the thing. Go for it. Do you want to play your trumpet first? Yeah, or you can't? Play... Yeah, you can't? How much does it cost? Two. I can't. No, because you... The following... That move, doesn't count. Five. So what you do is you could gain a resource, okay. play it, then play... Uh, drawn to the Flame. Two. And I'll get your back if things go south. I got my trumpet. So what does it even do? When a skull is revealed during my skill test, exhaust my trumpet. Heal one horror from an investigator at my location or connecting location. Cool. Really good. And this is eternal? Yeah. Nice. It just costs one of your hand slots. That's fine. I have a flashlight in one hand. A dead flashlight in one hand. And then draw to darkness. Draw to flame. Uh, ghoul minion. Let me handle this. You handle <laughs> No, do that one instead. Yeah. That one's better, yeah. You handle this. Can you gain a resource? Do I? Yep, yeah, that's what it says. Oh, yeah, I do. Dope, 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 cool, gain a resource. Dope, 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 dope. Oh, I still have one more turn. No, I don't. No, I you don't. the resource yeah. I summoned, and I did. Uh, did you, you gain these two clues as well? And I so gained four. four clues. No. Yeah, that'd be great. Cough. Uh, let's attack him. How many more clues do we need? One. We have five, we need six? Yeah, we need six. Mm -hmm. Three per. Three per. All right, let's attack this guy. I believe in you. We have one, two, six to three. That's pretty good. There's no minus fours. There's a minus five. I kind of really... Ah, now we're golden. Because we got luck on our sides. He's dead. Nailed it. Action two, let's move in here. Okay. 
Um, this is used using brains. So we're actually God. both good at that, though. Like, we both have four. Yes. This guy will engage um, me. Four, five, six. Oh, no, no. So those don't add. Oh. It has to say there. You get plus oh, okay. one. Okay. What do these do, then? That's for committing to tests. Oh. Gotcha. Still learning. Yeah, of course. So we have five versus my four, five, six. So let's spend two. So we got six, seven, eight versus his five. Nice. He's toast. Okay. End of turn. Draw cards, gain resources. Oh, that's in your discard. Yes. You're no longer drawn to the flame. <laughs> Bong, evil card for you. Ancient evil. Place one doom on the current oh. agenda. God, that sucks when we draw that. Uh, how about I go first? Okay. Uh, we'll do mano a mano. Deal one damage to this guy. And then we'll attack him. Four... Four to six. Four to six. Minus three. If there's a monster in your location, take one damage. Good thing I'm lucky, so he's dead. For my last action, we will investigate four to two. Minus two. Place one doom on the nearest enemy. Uh, we can advance. Nice. We'll do that so then you can have a full turn seeing what happens. Scattered throughout the forest, you've seen glyphs of arcane sigils in various places, etched into the bark of trees, carved upon the faces of stones, and dripped in blood upon the ground. Though you cannot decipher these glyphs, you notice that most of them tend to face south. Following these signs lead you by twists and turns towards a cave in the darkest and coldest part of the forest. As you advance, the shadowy figures emerge from the trees, blocking the only path to the, the cave. Place the ritual site in play if it is not already in play. Then spawn any cultist who got away at this location. Fun. Um, the remaining cultists have followed you into the woods to try to stop you, and now they block the path to your objective. They stand ominously beneath overhanging trees, silent sentinels in the night. You must defeat them or sneak past if you regain access to the site of their ritual. It's only one. Yeah, because we did really and good. he's pretty weak. Yeah, he's just a normal dude. Uh, if we, if either of us enter the ritual site, we can advance. Where can we enter the ritual site? Just from, from here. Oh, fuck. I don't want to have to go deal with him. Can I ignore him? Can I go one, two? No, he'll engage with you. Engage I mean, you could him. zap him to death. I could zap him to death. But he has four, three, because they get plus one fight and plus one evade. That's not that bad, though. I could zap him to death. You could. Uh, oh, did you test this last turn? No. You should make that test. Minus two. You fail. Damn. That's okay. Couldn't have been a skull, could you? Nah. Now you'll never draw one. Fight me. Huh. Okay. Um, so... I guess I'm gonna go attack him. Hello. Shrivel. Nice. So you're using your brain four to three. Yep. Do you have any brain cards you want to commit in your hand? Oh, so remember so. it costs you one action to move in here. Right. It costs you two actions. Two actions. So yeah, this is the only thing. The I other thing you now. can do is stock up and then I can move in and start attacking him next turn. Okay, so don't do this. Yeah, if you want. I feel pretty good about chopping up this old man. What do I stock up on though? Resources, draw cards. I don't really have anything that I can use currently. So I'm going to do at least one. Mm-hmm. Nice. And a turn? Yeah. Cards and resources. This advances. In player or a dark presence approaches you and you are assaulted by the invisible pressures that bring you to your knees. A terrible force threatens to invade your mind and soul. Your throat clenches and your eyes water as the sensation burns through you. In player order, each investigator must test brain six. Yeah, you go first. Guts. Six all? Yep. Good luck. That's all I can do. <sighs> I 
minus that's one. a plus one. That's a plus one. Hot you did it. Draw your card. What do I? I'm sorry. What do I do? Draw a card. Just a card. Bill, that's what Guts says. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. I was like, <laughs> we got five to six. <gasps> plus one. Oh my god. Neither of us failed that. Oh, that's good because I have to dig through the collection and get us weaknesses. So. The world begins to shift and change as the ritual nears its conclusion. Uh, the air grows chilly and the entire forest is covered in a layer of rime. The trees bend unnaturally and their shadows lengthen into weird shapes. When this agenda advances, if, it's a, or if, the aven uh, if we're in Act 1, which we aren't, if we're in Act 2 or 3, discard all enemies at the ritual site and spawn the set-aside Udmordoth there. <sighs> Evil card for you. Really? Uh, God. You know what? The card we were saying is not all that useful. It'll give Can me I one commit? more brain. Yeah, go for it. So far away. Oof. So you had five. Fuck. So you take two horror. You put them on Alyssa. Oh yeah, definitely. She can just tank I? them for you. She'll be fine. As you see, I'm, I pretty much I tank my people. And this can go now, right? Yes. So I had a little problem with this young deep one that showed up. What's up? Oh, um, I should also test this. Yeah, at the end of your last turn. Yeah. Is he also going? No, he's not. No, you played him. Doesn't you committed he him. Hang out until. No, no. It's because oh, okay. uh, yeah, you committed him, so that means he goes into your discard for the symbols. So you either play them in front of you or commit them to a test. Minus two. Nope. Wait. Nope. Minus one is the most I can get. Okay. I could cut the guy up, move in, and give you a path. I think that's probably the best option. So let's attack this young deep one. He has four. I have four, five, six. Six. We'll go up to seven to his four. Minus two, place one doom on the nearest enemy. You're a tough boy. Oh, I gained a resource when he engaged me. Uh, let's go again. Uh, still seven because keen eye is very good. Keen is very good, sorry. He's dead. Final trick in the book is we're going to move in here to give you a path towards Udmordoff. Can I give you a shriveling on my, on my way through? Oh, uh, I'm fine. Okay. I don't mind. This guy, he's a fucking basket Joke. of a basket of bread like he's i cut him up with my machete and we had lunch oh that's with him yes or of him you'll see you'll all see uh, all right well that's unsettling um my turn yep one two hang out get a resource cool challenge <laughs> minus one finally nice yeah that's good <laughs> Uh, this guy attacks me during the enemy phase. Okay. Uh, then we draw cards and gain resources. Bong. The bell of Udmordoth rings for us. Place two doom on nearest cultist enemy. If Hello, are friend. Cultist enemy in play, there are cultists. Enemy. Ooh, place two doom on the nearest. This guy is doing, <laughs> he's doing the ritual uh -huh. all by himself. He's like, vroom, he's doing overtime because all, all my friends are gone, so I'll just keep going. All right, let's see if I can cut this guy up. Mono a mono, he can take one damage. Actually, no, because I would rather waste this on a much tougher enemy. Like maybe Udmordoth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll attack him. He has three. I have four, five, six. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good for me. There is a minus four, so I'm going to just spend two, because yeah. I actually gained one when he engaged me, uh, because then I only fail to the squid chip. He takes two damage. Nice. Excuse me. He's done. He tried. He did. He did really good with his ritual. I'll move in here. Uh, at the end of the round, if there are fewer than two clues per investigator on which ritual, ritual site, add two clues per investigator oh, here. Oh, okay. Uh, until, until it has two per. That's very nice of them. Yeah. All right. Shuffle up. When you enter the cave, the air grows cold and your nostrils are assaulted by the pungent smell of blood and rot. Shuffle the encounter, discard pile into the encounter deck, discard um, cards from the top of the encounter deck until one enemy Fully is discarded. Yeah, uh, he spawns with me this time. Oh, so. okay. 
So I might get attacked again. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Wow, that was much faster than last time. Yeah, definitely. All right, so disrupting the ritual. Uh, the site of the cult's ritual is inside a large cavern in the dark corner of the woods. In the center of the chamber is a candlelit, cir uh, candlelit circle marked by rocks and arcane runes. As an action, spend one clue. Test brain three or foot three. If you succeed, place one clue on this act. If there are two clues per investigators on this act, we advance. That's not bad. Others might spawn in as well in the meantime. Um, why'd you take a... You engage me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, what would you prefer? Me head here to get this clue? Mm -hmm. Or come down there with you to start taking those clues? Uh, I'll just come here. Okay. We can just, like, hold, uh, bunker Maybe. down here. Hey, what's up? Oh, you know. And it's just two? Three. three. Okay. So you have four to three. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give myself uh, just five. Uh, it's, it's book for this one. It's book. Yeah. This thing is the brain. It's book. It's book. Book? Book, book? Book! Minus two. Oh, you fail. Deeply unfortunate. Let's go. All you, gotta, all you can do is test, right? Might as well. Mm -hmm. Minus two. Uh, this guy attacks me. Ouch. Ouch. Draw cards, gain resources. Sounds good. Oh, that's a really good card. Holy crap. You have a card for you? Thank you. Acolyte. Mm. Can you put him here? Yeah. Because then I can easily... I can't play assets or events this turn. Oh, that fucking sucks! All right. Uh... Three, uh, I have four, I have six, six to his three. That's where we want to be. Minus three is comfortable, he's dead. Action two, we move up here. This guy engages me, he has a doom on him. We'll get a resource. Uh, we attack, he has four, so we will spend two to make it seven to four. Because once again, three is the place to be. You're fucking toast, you nerd. Nerd. Those are my actions. This is gone. Uh, one thing that could be good is drawing until you get your St. Hubert's key. So Fair. you can like take some actions to do that. And I'm just gonna try it this time. Yeah, go for it. There's no more monsters in play or on your space, so there's no punishment. Minus one. You got it. Yeah, dude. So gain a clue. At the end of the round, this goes back up to four. We draw cards and gain resources. Ticks over. Evil card for you, my friend. Test three knowledge for each point I fail. Take <clears> one four. Christ. Test brain five. Uh, for each point you fail by, you must choose one. Choose one, discard a card from your hand, or take one damage and one horror. I just don't, I don't want to take any more fucking horror. Sure. Uh, four, five, six, six. <clears throat> Meat. Nice. And draw your card. Uh, we're just going to test four to five and hope for the best. Minus three. So that puts us to one to five. So that means you have to discard four cards. So I'll get rid of you. We'll get rid of you. We'll get rid of you. And then I suppose we take a damage and a horror. Oh, that definitely could have been better. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna action one move here. Okay. Action two, investigate five to two. Grab that clue nice. and then move back here. You're good to go. All right, action one, just so I'm lowering what I have in my hand. Yep. Uh, that's gone. <laughs> right? I mean, that's really good here, too. I mean, it's not useful for where I am currently, but... Well, it goes to one, and then you test four to one, which is the three above where you want to be, right? Yeah, this is... What am I testing again? Shroud. This is, yeah, book. So I can't reuse this. Yeah, yeah you can. That's a book. Yep. Yeah. It's been a long day, Nathan. We've been playing it's, games since like five. It's been a long so. day. My brain's a little melty. Three, four, five. 
skull. I'm gonna, yep. Heal yourself? Heal thyself. Heal and horror. Yeah, that's higher, isn't it? No, you just, it's only horror. Yeah, that's higher, isn't it? <laughs> you gain a clue, though. F yeah, I do. Hmm. And did you make your attack this last turn? Was that what you did over there? Yeah. Or, yeah, so end of turn? Uh, how many actions did you do? I only count two. Oh, okay. You played cool. a flashlight cool, and cool, investigate cool. it. You can investigate one more time. Yeah, cool. I'm going to. Uh, yeah. Nice. Draw cards, gain resources. Ooh, that's a good draw. Ooh, Speaking yeah. This goes up. Evil card for you. Thank you. Grasping hands. Test. I want to stop testing. That'd be really nice. Uh, so if you don't want to take damage, you could just use your ward of protection on that. If you want. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of doing. Yeah, go for yeah. it. I have this dumb fucking deep one with me. Cancel that, then take one horror. Pow, pow, pow. Okay. Um, uh, I'll attack this guy. Okay. He has four. I have six. We'll go to seven. Okay, so that's minus three range. He'll take two damage. Rinse and repeat. Oh, minus five. Rough. I'll pass that. Yeah. Adding two, which adds to the minus three that I had. Final action, we'll move awesome. in here and party with you. Hey, how's it going? It's going good. Your knife looks extra bloody. Yeah, I killed a lot of people while Oof, I was gone. I haven't killed anyone. <laughs> That's fine, you're human. What are... What am I? You. Oh, they lose their plus one. These guys are all weaker. I've been spending resources for no reason, making oh, the game harder oh, on myself. There you go. You're up, chief. I am up. Dat me. Dat me. Um, what, what am I? Three, four... Five if I do that. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna use perception. Nice. To bring up seven. Seven? There's two. I count six. Six? Yeah. Four, six. To three. Three, four. I didn't use my flashlight. Six. Yeah, that's fine. Skull. Hey, hey. Nice. Yeah. Do you mind if I heal it? Oh, yeah. I'm go too ahead. away from yeah, death. No, you, yeah. you, you go ahead. I go like ahead. your music. It's great. <laughs> Getting that clue. Okay, that clue. How many do we need? Uh, we need to do four tests. Oh, just four tests. Yeah. So how do I do a test? Do test brain three. No, or as an action, brain three or foot three. If you succeed, place one clue on this act. I have brain four, five, six, if I, right? Five, six. Oh, uh, no, those don't count. No, what is, I, I'm That's for when you commit those. cards to a skill test. Okay. So can I not commit? Him? No, because you can only commit from your hand. Oh, if I had him in my hand and played it. Yeah, when you do a skill test. That yeah. makes sense. I don't have a lot of brain, but I mean, I might as well try. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I still have one, two turns, right? Uh, this is advances, and Udmar Doth joins us next turn, and then it's Party City USA. No, sorry, I have two mo turns. Two actions. Yes, you have two so actions I'm left. Yes. Draw one and hope that it's an instant. Yes. Nice. Cool. So you have six to three? Yep. That's where you want to be. Nice. Nailed so it. this goes to three, not two. I did it wrong. This goes to one. And a turn, we draw cards and gain resources. And I draw one card. <gasps> this advances. All right. Bad news, Nathan. All right. Vengeance awaits. That's if the investigators are in Act 2 or 3, discard all enemies at the ritual site and spawn the set-aside Udmordoth there. Hunter and Massive, that means he's engaged with both of us. Gross. At the end of the investigator's turn, we ready him. As an action, if you control Lita Chandler, it's only after, after her. You throw Lita Chandler to Udmordoth in order to spare your lives. Uh, we also now lose this act. And our new thing becomes replace... If he is defeated, we win the game. Or R2 or R3. 
What do we have to challenge him against? What's his power? Uh, five. Five. And he has 14 health. And he hits like a fucking shithouse. Um, we draw our evil cards. Because we haven't done that yet. Place two doom on the nearest cultist. Oh, uh, there's no cultist enemies? So you spawn. Oh, I figured because he was yeah. out, we wouldn't have to do shit. Nah, so we'll just put this guy. Like, he's not doing anything. He's just doing his own ritual in the woods. Doom doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, fuck him. And then mine, I have to shuffle these all together. So I'm assuming the true ending is beating him, and the uh, the other ending is throwing Lita at him. Yep, never got the true ending. <laughs> all right. He has a lot of health, so here, yeah. we'll, we'll count down for him. No, no, right. Just so we know how much he has. He has that much health remaining. All right, fun. Oh, sorry. Oh. I thought you said he had 14. Oh, sorry, that is 12. For some reason, in my mind, it was... I nailed it the first time. Then I fucked it up. Whoa. No, no, oh. that's, that's too much health. Stop. <laughs> My evil card of the turn is... Ooh, this is bad. Test brain five. Do you have any brain stuff you can I help me with? To look. I have a grotesque statue. It'll give you one of something. That could be good. I really want to pass this. Um, oh, just put it, you just discard uh, it. Okay. Yeah, so that gives me... So now we're five all. Um... I'm gonna go six all, six to five. Minus one. You saved my life, Nathan. Can I? Pardon? No, it's only when I. Oh yeah, no, yeah. You're fine because it's when it's revealed during a skill test. Oh, I meant my skill. I test. meant when you did that. Oh, but yeah, okay. yeah. Would you want to do that too? I love a heal. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you because I don't have much going I get the for next me. One. No, you get the next one. I'm fucking fine. You're not doing hot. Hey, we're dying. No, we're good. So we're we gonna try to cut this fucker up. How fast do you think you can kill us? Uh, not that fast. <laughs> that didn't sound confident. No. How many mm. turns do you think it will take for him to kill us? Uh, he'll kill me next turn. I have Lita in my hand. Uh, well, yeah. That's, so every time we do anything but attack him, he will attack us. Mm -hmm. So... It's your choice. You're the one with Lita. I'm gonna fight him, because that's what I do. Okay. I see this monster. Oh, again, he engaged me. So we, so he's engaged with both of us right now because he's massive. Okay, let's role play this out there. Yeah. Lita's with me. Yeah. Um, Zoe. She's she's the one who burnt. She's the reason this is all happening. Your house is burnt down because anymore. of her. I mean, she's I the one who convinced you to do it. No, I mean, yeah, but the thing is, she lied to us and changed the story. Now I'm gonna take a few hacks out of this thing. I'm then let's play my dad's trumpet and think about it. Sure, and then yeah, I'm gonna take a few hacks, and if we feel like we need to kill Lita, because she's a fucking bitch, let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna spend four, okay. putting me up to six, seven, eight versus his five. I'm gonna spend another um, four to put me up four, so eight, ten to his five. Uh, then we're gonna commit this vicious blow. So True. we deal. True. You did one. Two, three, four. So right, that's probably the biggest ha attack nice. I'm gonna do. Oh, fuck. So everything else is pretty normal. All right. We'll All attack right. five. Yeah. Ten to five. All right. You're off. It's not bad. It's not bad. It was just it's not bad. It's not uh, bad. So two damage. Yeah, you're fine. See, look, you're killing him. He's gonna kill. You're gonna kill him this this time. I mean, you're not. I reveal another token. Oh, that's, that's not really bad. bad. Minus fucking you one. I lost. Yes, I heal, but I lost the. I missed the attack. Yes, but you get a heal. I would heal. What does he attack swing with? Nothing. He doesn't have retaliate. No, but, no, but I, when he does damage, does it? Is it sanity or? It's three in each. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, I would. I mean, I love a heal. You actually heal. You heal. You already healed yourself. Oh, good. I'm the best. You heal instead. Okay. Um, I'm also then gonna beat cop him for one. Uh, we could possibly kill him if you just unload it to him and don't fuck up. I mean, you actually, it's pretty bad for you. You're attacking four to five. But I can shrivel. Yeah, but that's still four to five. You handle this. <laughs> if I did that hit, he would be a lot lower. He'd be at fucking five and we could actually potentially kill him. I'm going to try one. Go for it. He won't, he doesn't retaliate. He doesn't retaliate, right? yep. 
Do you have any brains you can commit? I don't. I'll give you one, so I you're five all. I don't. The best thing I have is my time warp. Yeah, time warp that. Oh, no, let's go back in time. Let's go back in time. Okay, time warp. You time, time warp. warp. Let's do the you, time warp again. You actually should time warp my attack that missed against Okay, I time warp your attack that missed. Oh. You heal. I'll, yeah, I'll heal. Yeah, you heal. You have more damage than uh, I do. That'll deal two to him. And then I'll beat cop him to put him to five. Yeah. So he's even lower. Which means I'm probably going to be staying here and trying to attack him next turn. I have one more time warp in my hand. Oh, that's really good. Um, you... Should I do what just, I was just Just doing? attack him. Yeah, just attack him. Shrivel him up. Yep, shrivel bit. him up. I mean, best case scenario, you kill him. Or sorry, you, you... Yeah, best case scenario, you draw three plus ones and you kill him. Odds aren't good. Oh, that was two. You should redraw. Oh, I'll still commit this mano a mano. Do you. I? No, I don't think I do. Minus two. Do you? No, I don't. Because I need. if I can do that, I can potentially have a better chance of killing him. That was four to five? Yeah. Minus two. Fuck. I'm not going to waste my time warp. Does he do damage to me with that? No, no, no. No, yeah, no you should save your time warps for me. Yeah. Because I have and a better I'm chance. I'm going to shrivel again. Go for it. Minus one. No, because you're doing four to... Th you need the plus one. Yeah. Or a plus three. Mm -hmm. That doesn't exist, does it? Nope. Nope. Fuck. So you're out of shrivel spells? No, uh, I'm not. I still have one more. Okay. Okay, yeah, then. I'm, uh, we I'm each, out for this round. We each but... take three damage. Just because? No, because he attacks us during the enemy three phase. Three both damages? Yep. That hurts. That's not great. Then we gain cards and draw resources. Not fucking helpful. Your card? Oh, that does nothing. Oh, sick. Ooh, this could kill me. Do you have anything that helps with feet? I have a you can handle you handle this one. Does that yeah, that commits our feet? Yeah, you yeah. want to give that to me. So we're now three all. And <laughs> one resource. We're three all? <gasps> yep. That's good. That's good, good, good. Okay. I'm going to start with my first action to attack him. Okay. Use your brawler if you need to. Mm -hmm. I have five, six, seven. Seven, five. We'll go to nine. Nine, five. Uh, Minus place two, two doom. He takes two damage, though. Yep. Uh, you being here as a, a time warp is very helpful. Uh, we're going to go again. We're still at five. We'll go to, uh, sorry, four, five, nine six, again. seven, nine. Nine to five. Oh my God. That's, not that's, not that's, not that's not bad, 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 that's not bad. Take him away, boys. Beat Cop did it. <laughs> Beat Cop died. Just so kidding, time warp! <laughs> Do it again! Beat Cop exhausted. <laughs> Holy shit, R2. We did it. We did it. Holy shit. R2. Through force of arms and strength of will, you are somehow able to harm Udmordoth. Your trumpet actually was the MVP. It that was. kept me alive. Yeah. Uh, enough to send it uh, reeling back to the dimension from which it emerged. Warmth and light return to the woods as void-like mass is sucked in upon itself, vanishing in an instant. Oh. You aren't sure if a being such as this can be killed, but for the time being, it seems to have retreated. As their master vanishes, the ghouls climb nearly. Uh, the ghouls nearly climb into the open below, fleeing for, with terrible cries and shrieks. You have stopped an evil plot, but the fight has taken its toll on your body and mind. Worse, <laughs> you can't help but feel insignificant. Uh, in the face of the world's mysteries, what other terrors exist in the deep, dark corners of reality? In your campaign log, we record that we have, we have repelled Udmordoth. We each suffer two physical trauma and two mental trauma. I die. Oh, no, no, sorry, that's just, that's lasting. So if we played again, I would start with two and two, and you would start with two and three damage. Okay. Uh As Udmordoth has taken their toll on the body and mind. Each investigator earns experience equal 
to victory x, so we have 1. But then also, each investigator earns up 10 bonus experience as he or she has triumphed in the battle against a truly terrible foe. 11 experience. The investigators win. Woo! Trending! <laughs> So normally I retire my characters, and even though I have, we have 11 experience to spell, having only four sanity at the start of the game seems pretty rough. But we did it. We beat, that was the first time that happened. Your time warps were yeah. clutch. This keen clutch. is very good. Keen eye. For this great guy. And with that, we should probably... What Thanks for joining us, YouTube. Uh, hey. You guys have a good one. Uh, you'll probably see Nathan again for Arkham Horror when him and I attempt to survive the Dunwich legacy. But the next... Uh... That's the eight part, first eight-part one. Uh, yeah. It's pretty how many good. are there? Uh, there's Dunwich Legacy, which is eight. Path of Carcosa, which is eight. And then there is Forgotten Age, which is nine. And then there is Circle Undone, which is the current one that's coming out. Uh, yes. I only own up to Forgotten Age, which I have coming in the mail today we'll head to dunwich soon yes goodbye youtube